right guys, right, we're here today, we're just going to give you a little rundown of the new Gizmo Angling hook tying system, the ZT Pro. It's quite different to everything else on the market, so what we're going to do, we're going to talk through a few of the key features, what makes it slightly different, I'll give you a little demonstration how to get the best out of it, and then hopefully get Andy to demonstrate us tying when a few. When you've got mittens like these, trust me, it makes a massive difference having something like this. Yeah, so what we'll do, show you a few of these key features and then give you a demonstration. Right, so one of the key features of the actual uptime machine is the brass head pins. Andy, would you just like to explain a little bit about it? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, the beauty of brass is it's not going to rust. So you could do however many up limbs you wanted to outside. If it's raining a little bit, ain't going to rust. There's no flex whatsoever. Um, so you get a smooth hook length. There's no kinks in the hook length. And I think we should go on about that next, mate, shouldn't we? Yeah, we'll talk a bit. Perfect hook length. Yeah, talk a bit about that. Right, so the second key feature of this is actually the knot tightening system. Now, Andy's going to run us through this, but basically, don't give you any damage on your line whatsoever? No, none whatsoever, and uh, you know, it's proper silky smooth when the hook length comes off. Basically, what you've got is this little brass pin here. That's what you actually attach your hook length to first, so, you know, it's a bit different to, uh, to other hook length systems in that you, you know, tie your hook first and do the loop at the end. So you put your loop on that and then you twist it. So one revolution equals two inches. So if I wanted a four inch hook length, it's designed for four inches. If I wanted six inches, you see, I've just put the revolution around one, so that's six inches. If I wanted eight, I'll just twist it again. Now you'll see there, there's a little line, and as long as that lines up with the other little line there, you know you've got a, a proper two inches, a true two inches on it. And yeah, it's proper smooth. Once you've finished it, you just release this mechanism, and then it just, just peels off, lovely and smooth on. And you can go up to any length on that. You could do them all the way up to three foot if you wanted. Whatever you wanted to. I mean, um, there's a lot of sort of bomber maggot fishing out at the minute, so I want some real long up lengths. And I've actually done them up to four foot, no trouble at all. You know, it, it'll, it'll, it'll cope with it, you know, really well. Yeah. And all it is, I'll basically just give you a quick demonstration while I'm here. You just loosen, all I do is I loosen this bit off here, loosen your hook, and then there's a little screw on the back, if you can just see it there on Andy's. When you release that, all you basically do is peel it off so there's no damage whatsoever. Your line comes off. Once that goes into your up-length system, that's all 17 lines, so it's a bit thing. But once it goes in, it'll just straighten itself out and you'll just end up with a perfect up-length. So I think we'll have a look at another key feature oh, yes. and then we'll give Let's a little demonstration. Right, one of the main features of the Octine system is the NRB Vary Length system. And what this allows you to do, this is quite important because everybody's hook length boxes are slightly different. I use the Guru one, Andy uses the Map one. You get two little Allen keys when you first buy your hook tying system. Basically, this little cap here just pops off and inside there, there's a little tiny screw which basically, the smallest Allen key that you get allows you to adjust just this to whatever you length you want. So for example, I always set mine at four inch and then one revolution makes it to six. Andy's is slept, uh, set to six inch. So if you just want to show us quickly, Andy, there, how you go about adjusting it. Yeah, so basically, alum key's already inserted, which is nice. Um, all you do, basically, just undo the pressure on that and then that just, you know, just comes back and then you can set it to whatever length you want. As Andy says, all hook length boxes are different these days, so it's crucial that you get it set exactly how you want your hook lengths to do. And then it's just a case of, you know, tying your hook lengths up, putting your loop on, and then you can just do as many as you want in such a quick space of time. It's, yeah. it's, it's proper, mate, isn't it? You know what I mean? And all we do, just tighten down on that. Once you've got your, you know, your right um, length, it'll take a bit of, uh, bit of doing first, you know, but like one mil, two mil either way, put that back on, and then you're in business. Just make sure, one quick tip, make sure that this brass pin is lined up with this head here where your hook goes. We'll come on to that in a sec, mate, can't yeah. we? Yeah, I think it's important. Now, one last thing I want to mention. It's important, make sure your hook lengths are always under slight tension. That will do two things. It'll make sure that you're not coming loose and dropping out of your hook length box, but also it'll straighten your line nice and straight for when you take it off your hook length system. So set it and then just adjust it, just a mill or two here or there and just get them absolutely perfect, but dead easy to do and it's just another way of making it easier for you when tying up lengths. So I think we'll have a look at the next uh, oh, yes. key feature. Let's get on it, mate. Right, 
Right, so another one of the key features is the actual gripping of the hook itself. With the hook here, when it goes into the insert, it's got a little polypropylene insert inside and that allows you to get a real good grip on your hook. All you do is you tension this and you tighten it down. Now a good little tip, which Andy's going to demonstrate for you, is just turning the head actually around so that you get a better grip. There's a little sort of knuckle on one side and it's flat on the other side, so you want it on the flat side so that basically you just get that extra mil or two, just so, probably not even a mil to be honest, but it just gives you that better hook hold. You can't damage your hook because the polypropylene insert just cushions that hook. So Yeah, you just get a good grip mate, don't you? Obviously, with it being winter mode at the minute, you're using them real fine wire hooks, so you just need to get a real good grip on them. So all you want to do, make sure you're, you're holding um, the jaws, if you like, there. Take the, the locking nut off, turn it over, and you just twist back on that other way. And you can see there, you know, it's got like a, a ridge on it, whereas if you turn it over, it's flat. So that now will real clamp down, you know, very tight on them very fine wire hooks. Um, you know, just, just another tip to them, isn't it, yeah. mate? So. And there's no damage, is there? Because no. the polypropylene, just like say, it just cushions it. Oh, it's perfect, yeah. Perfect every time. So. Grips it lovely. So that's a nice, simple way of, you know, getting a nice grip on your hook, no movement whatsoever. So I think what we'll do, we'll have a look at the maglock next and then talk a little bit about that. Right, so lastly, two little key features. You've got the maglock system. And what this does is basically when you want to put your hook into it, so when I first go, I can pull this towards me and there's two strong magnets and they'll just hold it in position when you're actually tying your hook. But to start with, we'll give you a little demonstration of this, but basically you bring it towards yourself, put your hook in, your little clamp, tighten it up, push it back, bring this to back towards you, put your loop on the little brass pin there, push it in position, and then you're ready to tie. Also, there's a little thing underneath in the hand that just stops yeah, it slipping. It stops it slipping. Here, it's basically on two neoprene pads there. You know, it's quite a weighty object as well. It's, uh, what's it, two kilos? Two kilos, yeah. Two kilos, so it's quite heavy. Um, that it won't s slip anywhere. You know, it's absolutely bang on. Um, when you've got to tie multiple up lengths up, it just takes all the strain off. And, you know, if you're used to doing it on a hook tire or by hand, you're down here, you've got a lot of strain on your neck. You know, it's so comfy to tie loads up while you're watching Corey and having a few cheeky beers. It's just a perfect machine. Really, it's awesome. Just, it's, it's just a machine to help you tie a lot more efficient, a lot easier. Perfect for me because I've got a bad back, so I always struggle bent over. After about 10, 15 minutes, like you say, the strain, it's not good. It's all en engineered in the UK. Dennis and his family, his dad, have come up with this idea. They've been working on it for a few years and they finally got it. You know, they're very proud of what they've achieved and they've stocked something like over 200,000 individual parts. So it's not a company that's just gonna come and go, it's a company that's gonna go from strength to strength. So I think what we'll do, we'll give them a little demonstration, we'll show them how to tie it, and then I'm gonna put you to the challenge and see how quick these can mittens do it. can tie it, trust me, anyone can do it. That's <laughs> right, mate, though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll give you a little demonstration now, I think. demo basically mag lock towards you open up the little clamp and then insert your hook and just make sure it's nice and straight so that you get a nice whipping back towards you this one and I've got a hook length loop already pre-tied that goes on the little brass pin and I want to do a hook length six inch this time so this is already set up for four inch basically what I do one turn one revolution is basically two inch. Now, a good little tip, what I do is I stop just before the line, me personally, because that means that it's always under tension when it's in my hook box. So I take that back towards now, and it's nice and lined up. Go round the brass head, and there's a little groove in the brass head which catches your line, so it can't slip off it. And then round the other brass head, and basically this little pin here helps to trap your line when you come to tighten your knot down. So what I'm gonna do now is start my revolution, and because they both spin together, you get no line twist whatsoever with this. So I've started it there, and now I'm just going to pull my line a little bit over to this side and basically start me whipping. So three, four, five, six, seven, 
is a nice number. You can can't, do a bit more. Can't end on an odd number, mate. It's got to oh. be even. I'll do one more then. Eight. And then basically, if you push this little pin up here, that's just going to trap my line. So basically, I put my line round it, release the pin, and that makes your hands free then. So a good little tip as well. Make sure you trim it reasonably short. Get rid of that line. Reasonably short. And what that does, when you release your brass head, it doesn't catch basically, it just means that it goes over it. I've wet my finger and I'm just going to lube that knot up, release that little pin head there and that allows me to tighten the knot down now. So I just slowly pull it down, you can just see there, it'll just start to tension and then I release that and it releases my line. One more little slow pull, you'll just see the line kick and then you know it's tightened down and then what I do, release that Grab my hook, release it out of the clamp, and then as I peel it off now, there's no damage whatsoever. And then, just for my own peace of mind, I tighten that down. No slip whatsoever on that then, so the knot was perfectly tight. But it's better checking now than putting it on the bank and end up coming off. <clears throat> and then you'll see there, I've got a nice, straight, perfectly tied hook there now. We'll do a little close-up of this so you can see, but basically, the knot is perfect. The line, sort of, when the line kicks out, you know that's your line tightening up. Your knot's going to end up really, really strong, no slipping whatsoever. And you can just see there, that's a perfectly tied up length, and that basically goes into your up length box. Like I say, it's going to be under tension, so it's going to straighten everything out nice and neat. And then when I come to fish with it, I'm not going to have line that's sort of kinked up. Because when you start using heavier main lines, uh, hook length lines like 017, 015, things like that, Sometimes they end up a bit curly. With this, because it's going to be under tension, the memory in the line is basically it's just going to straighten it out. So yeah, it's lovely. I've just done a little bit longer up length, but coming back to that point that Andy made first, when you're getting that first spin in it, it's so important that you're coming off first, so your line's coming off the front of the spade. You know, sometimes when you do it by hand or the other traditional hook tires, you're forever sort of pushing your line back up and then having to twist it round, and all that can cause damage on the line all the time. But you'll see if you get it, so it's coming off the front of the hook, you can just get a true proper straight hook length like that. Uh, so I've done a 10 inch one, a little bit longer than Andy's, uh, onto an 18s, and it's just absolutely bang on. Ready for me to go and smash some bream out of the water in a bit, mate, you reckon? You know. Oh yeah. I think what I'll do now, go fish. We're, no, I'm gonna put you to the test here. I'm gonna Come on, mate, with see these how bananas. fast you can tie one, because you've got really big hands, haven't you? So if you can do it, anybody can do it. You know it, it's so right though, mate. What we'll do, let's see how quick you can tie one under actual pressure. Because a lot of people think these are quite slow, but when you tie in multiple <laughs> up lengths, one thing I struggle with, one me back, under strain, fingers get sore after sort of yeah. five or ten. You end up with an imprint of an hook in your finger, don't you? And I think like if you're a serious match angler or even if you're just a pleasure angler and you like to have you know, like to be prepared, when you tie in multiple hook lengths, it's actually quicker over a longer period, isn't it? Definitely. Um, if you're just doing a, a few, you know, just to get it by in a match then you know, that, that's not what this product is about. It's about if you're getting, you know, really serious, competitive into, you know, festivals, getting really prepared, making sure your hook boxes are stocked up. You've got to have this in your armory. Honestly, it's amazing. It's taken the strain off from me, you know, from, I've never used a hook tie before. I've always done mine by hand. And what a difference it's made. It's just phenomenal. You can get like, well, 40, 50 hooks done in like, you know, 50 minutes an hour. You know, that, that's how quick it can be once you get used to it. Brilliant I think, product. I think it's about, well, it's almost like preparing your hook length. Pre preparation with this is the key. If you have pre-tied loops ready, and then you can literally just fire them off, literally 40 seconds, 50 seconds per hook. Some some people do them in 25, 30 seconds, but... Is that me, what it's got to be? No, it's only a 13-year-old girl that holds that record, so I won't put any pressure I on you, but I think 28, 28 seconds, I think, is the record by a 13-year-old girl. Come on, girl, so put it up to about 40 seconds, Ant. It's about three minutes. I can do it by hand in two minutes. minutes. So, yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll do one quite quickly so you can see for yourself quite because like it. Uh, it puts a lot of people off, though. I mean, the people say, oh, it's going to be slow and things like that and the price. Like, there's two different hook ties here. I've got the standard one. This retails at under £120. Pounds. Andy's got the anodized one. Um, it's the same one, isn't it? It's exactly the same. Exactly it's the just same, just mine's in a nice, sexy red colour, you know? Um, both do exactly the same thing. It's yeah. for the tackle tarts, basically. I've never been called tackle tart before, though, mate. Yeah. You haven't seen my gear. 
we've got some money to spend now, aren't we? Well, you know it. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm a little you know. bit uh, cheaper. I've gone for the standard one. But yeah, this one retails at £120. The an anodized one, basically hand polished, that retails at £150. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, if you're serious about your fishing, or even if you're not so serious, but you want to make it look easier for your back or anything like that, it's just a must have piece of kit, isn't it? Definitely. I would be without mine now. Absolutely fantastic. So, one last thing, I'm going to put oosh. you through a time oh, challenge. Oosh. We've got a time challenge. Right, come on then. Um, and then we'll see what you can first, do. So let's come back in the set, let me do the other side first. Right, so I'm going to put him to the challenge, see if he can actually beat the record <laughs> held by a 13 year old girl. Alright, alright, just pass that, which is that. 28 seconds. <laughs> Got my stopwatch here on my phone, so when you're ready, you tell me when and I'll start it. All right, all right, all right. Can I just go for a wee first? No. All right, all right. Go. Go. You like that? I'm in beast mode, man. I'm in beast yeah. mode. Oh, where's my length gone? Yeah. Put me off. Put me off, man. Right, six inches. So onto the brass. One six revolution. Inch. So we'll come around there. Make sure that's lined up on that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, I'm in beast it's got mode. a bit off in your hand. I'm in beast mode, man. I'm in beast mode. Come on, what we on? What we on, mate? It's done. Done. Dusted. Thirty-eight seconds. No way. Still better than doing it by hand, though. And I mean, normally in. something like that would take me. Well, getting on for a minute, or if you're not uh, over a minute. So when you do get used to it, it just shows you how quick you can actually do them. So literally, all that's left for me to do. It's trim that tag end off and then it's straight in the box to join it's the nice. other hundred. Nice and simple. Like I say, it's, it's a man. process. A lot of people think it's going to take a long, longer. But to be honest, joking aside, you can actually average it at about a minute of hook length if you take your time doing properly. So brilliant bit of kit. Recommend it. Gizmo angling. Uh, we'll put some details up of where you can buy them, telephone numbers, contact details and things like that. But, you know, it's something I wouldn't be without now. No, definitely not. It's an uh, awesome bit of kit. Uh, I'll just really recommend you go out and, you know, give it a try. It's fantastic. So that's about all from us. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you've learned how to use the new Gizmo Angling product. Got to get swans in, haven't we? <laughs> Got to get the swans out. <laughs>